1009. Why do we perspire? Because the skin is filled with very minute pores, which act as outlets for a portion of the water of the blood. That serves to moisten and cool the surface of the body, and to carry away some of the matter no longer needed in the system. 1010. How is the perspiration formed? By very small glands, which lie embedded in the skin. It is estimated that there are about 2,700,000 perspiratory glands distributed over the surface of the body, and that these glands find outlets for their secretion through no less than 7 millions of pores. 1011. What is insensible perspiration? Insensible perspiration is that transmission of watery particles through the skin, which is constantly going on, but which takes place so gently that it cannot be perceived. It is, however, very important in its results, as no less than from 20 to 33 ounces of water may pass imperceptibly through the skin in 24 hours. 1012. What is sensible perspiration? Sensible perspiration is that moisture which exudes upon the skin in drops large enough to be perceptible when the body is heated by exercise or other means. And Elisha sent a message unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. 2 Kings 5 1013 Why does a sudden change from heat to cold bring on illness? Because the effect of cold arrests the action of the vessels of the skin, and suddenly throws upon the internal organs the excretory labour which the skin should have sustained. 1014. Why does a chill upon the skin frequently produce inflammation of the lungs? Because the lungs and the skin together discharge the chief proportion of the watery fluid of the body. When the skin's action is checked, the lungs have to throw off a much greater amount of fluid. The lungs, therefore, become overworked, and inflammatory action sets in. 1015. Why does cleanliness promote health? Because every atom of dirt which lodges upon the surface of the body serves to clog and check the working of those minute pores, by which much of the fluid of the body is changed and purified. In the internal parts of the system, the Creator has made ample provision for cleanliness. Every organ is so constituted that it cleanses and lubricates itself. Every surface of the inner body is perfectly clean and as soft as silk. Nature leaves to man the care of those surfaces which are under his immediate observation and control. And he who from idleness or indifference to nature's laws is guilty of personal neglect, opposes the evident intentions of the Creator and must sooner or later pay the penalty of disobedience. 1016. Why does exercise promote health? Because it assists all the functions upon which life depended. It quickens the circulation and thereby nourishes every part of the body, causing the bones to become firm and the muscles to become full and healthy. It promotes breathing by which oxygen is taken into the system and carbon thrown off, and thereby it produces a higher degree of organic life and strength than would otherwise exist. It promotes perspiration, by which, through the millions of pores of the skin, much of the fluid of the body is changed and purified, and it induces the genial and diffused warmth, which is one of the chief conditions of a high degree of vitality. Love, not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied.